Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Nashinchi from Tavdek University. I would like to present our paper entitled Lab for Loss Model and Efficiency Analysis of the Coarse Z Source is a spark boost converter with wide input voltage and load range. My, my presentation includes a short introduction about isolated spark boost converters. Then we will have converter description and problem statement. In the following, power loss model of converter will be described, then power loss and efficiency of the converter will be evaluated. The given analysis will be verified by experimental results and finally we will have conclusions. In this paper, we focus on galvanically isolated coarse Z source DC DC converter as a subgroup of isolated buck boost DC DC converters. This converter features a flat efficiency curve over the wide operation range and also used as multi stage or single stage structure. This converter is more attractive for PV applications because of wide input voltage regulation range between 8 to 60 volt. In this paper, power loss distribution of cause Z source is related but this converter is studied to select the efficient operation mode. Here we have the topology of the converter. As can be seen, uh, the converter includes a coarse Z source network along with a full bridge inverter at the input side, an isolation transformer that is used to increase the voltage of input side and a voltage duplier rectifier at the output that capacitor of voltage dupler rectifier along with leakage inductance of transformer consists the resonant tank. The converter operates in two mode, boost mode and buck mode. In the boost mode, the quasi-z source network is active also series resonant converter the switches of uh, inverter are controlled by shoot through pwm technique in the buck mode and uh, the quasi z source network is disactive and we have only series resonance converter and switches of Inverter are controlled by phase shift modulation technique. Boundary between modes and pass through point between boost and buck modes is determined by a spatial value of input voltage. The last sources of uh, converter include the uh, MOSFET losses transformer inductors and voltage dupler rectifier MOSFET losses consist of conduction losses and switching losses transformer losses includes uh, winding losses and core losses and as well as inductors with winding losses and core losses at the voltage dupler rectifier we have only conduction losses of diodes the general methodology is same for boost and buck mode and the main difference is in voltage and current stress of the component. The mechanism of power losses could be explained by voltage and current stress of the components. As can be seen, the output diode's current equals zero during a shoot through states the switching for inverter switch is hard because we have current at the turn on and turn off state of switch 
the current ripple of inductors affects the switching losses as can be seen and for that time the body diode of uh, causes that source conducts and creates ZWS condition for causes that source switch in the back mode all switches are turned on in south switching conditions the switches of lagging leg are turned off in hard switching sides of uh, voltage duplier rectifier are committed at zero current this can be seen here in buck mode uh, quasi z source network is disactive and uh, switch of quasi z source network conducts for all switching periods for evaluation of power losses and efficiency uh, power losses is analysis of power losses is done for turns ratio of 6.2 for voltage input voltage of 28 the converter operates in boost mode for 33 volt the converter it operates in vicinity of the boundary mode but more in buck mode and for 38 the converter operates in buck mode comparison between the efficiency of the operation mode shows that the efficiency for boundary mode is higher than the boost mode and buck mode here we have distribution of power losses for very different operation mode the switching losses of MOSFETs dominate over the other losses in the boost mode as can be seen uh, in the boundary and buck modes um, this this switching losses dominate over other losses only at partial and light load conditions as can be seen for full load conditions transformer losses and also losses of voltage jubilee rectifier is higher than boost mode it's because of the uh, short duration of uh, active states for buck mode and in this condition the rms current of uh, transformer is high that results in a high losses for uh, transformer and voltage jubilee rectifier here we have a comparison of experimental results and theoretical results as can be seen uh, the full load efficiency is higher by up to one percent for three operation modes at a light load uh, this difference is the lowest for the boundary mode it increases up to 5% in the other operation modes as a result of non-modal dynamics in the semiconductor during hard switching as well as the influence of the parasitic elements the average difference between the measured and theoretical power losses is around 2% that we here we have the comparison of power losses between theoretical and uh, experimental results that shows this fact finally conclusions the converter shows the highest efficiency in the boundary voltage range when one mode is seamlessly switch to the other one in all three operation mode switching losses in the input side 
MOSFET and transformer losses are dominant. In the bulk, bulk mode, the power losses in the transformer are higher than semiconductor switching losses at the full load. The converter has the lowest efficiency for operation in the bulk mode. Uh, the boundary mode features the highest efficiency due to the low dominate losses, but uh, it could be considered that the boundary mode is one point that converter uh, can't, the operation of converter can't uh, limit to this point. Comparison between boost mode and bulk mode show that the boost mode efficiency is up to 2% higher than that for the bulk mode and it could be concluded that the best operation mode for converter with high efficiency will be boost mode. Thank you for your attention. I am here if there is any question.